Hello, my name is Dimitris Bukhalis. I work in Bond University. Uh, today on the Tourism Innovation Summit, we were talking about hyper-personalization. And hyper-personalization becomes very important because individuals would like to personalize their experience to meet their needs and wants in a better way. Increasingly, what we see is that we can use technology, big data, artificial intelligence, metaverse, to actually create that personalization and enable individuals to be able to uh, navigate through a whole range of uh, um, actors within the tourism ecosystem and maximize the benefit for themselves and those around them. Increasingly, personalization has to be related also with the local communities and make sure that the individual needs are compatible to the needs of the local community. I think we see a lot of personalization, hyper-personalization in the future uh, by using those technological tools that are going to enable us uh, to make tourism smarter and more useful uh, for all the stakeholders that are, in, that are involved in this process. Hi, my name is Jose Luis Avila. I'm the CCO of Campao. Campao, we are the number one the eco glamping company in Europe. Uh, today we spoke about personalization, how to adapt your campaigns and communication to your client to create unique experiences to an individual level to increase the revenue on this part and then just create and increase your customer lifetime value. I hope you all liked it. Hyper-personalization is actually to adapt what you're offering to the individual and not to a group. So you need to understand and cross data and analytics using uh, EAI or just your database to understand and predict the behavior of the customer bringing the relevant message. So my name is Marcus Müller. I'm from Gauvendi, which comes from two Latin words, Gaudium, joy, and Venditio, which means sales. And I'm the managing director and co-founder of the, of the company. And we are enabling accommodation providers to sell in really hyper-personalized ways. So what, is, so what are we doing? Um, we connect to uh, property management systems, enrich the data to um, really have cool product data, granular product data, high flow, low flow of each rooms and all these things, and enable a new way of creating products and distributing that products to any channel you want to or sell better like everybody else on your direct channels. So that's what we're doing. Um, what is hyper-personalization for us? Um, Personalization, everybody's pretty much doing already, but it's it's not really 100% working. Everybody's kind of used to ha have that basic level of personalization. Hyper-personalization for us means there's a contextual element to it and a time element to it. Meaning, it's not just my history and uh, this is here, dear Marcus or whatever. It's about, oh, I'm coming with my kids. So I'm getting offered maybe a room connecting. I'm getting a room connected um, on, on a low floor with a terrace because I have younger children. I don't want them to fall off the balcony and stuff like that. So it's really about in real time, based on your purchase behavior, based on your behavior in general, taking this data, making sense of it and actionable action that data to offer the right solutions or right products to you in real time. So that's for us the difference between personalization and hyper-personalization. And that's what we're about to, to, um, to achieve with our new technology and artificial intelligence. Okay, I am uh, Salario Francesco Bertolucci, commercial assistant for VDB Luxury Properties. It's a company uh, that focuses on uh, sale and rental of real estate uh, properties. It's a perfect mix between uh, real estate and hospitality. We offer boutique services uh, uh, for our exclusive clients. Uh, today I discussed, uh, uh, let's say, the connection between uh, comfort and technology, the importance of uh, products and services before going to technology, going to technology. Technology is fundamental, but if you do not have the specific products and services that uh, our exclusive clients need, uh, then, the, probably, then the, the company would probably incur in serious problems. Hyper-personalization for us is uh, catering to specific uh, 
uh, people's needs and offering uh, specific services all the time that they ask it to us. Uh, it can be a last minute thing as a planned thing, but you always have to, you never have to say no. You always have to say that you are there and you will work for it. Hi, my name is Sofia Torre, I'm a payments and hospitality expert at Adyen, a payments company. And what we are doing is helping other companies to collect and to get all the data to improve the customer service. To me, hyper-personalization is a step forward. It's really understand the behavior of the customer and the behavior and the, your company to improve all experience.